Sinus infections are one of the most common infections across the world. Sinus attacks are caused by an infection in the sinuses or cavities that are present in the bones near the nose. When there is any swelling in these sinuses because of some infection, breathing becomes difficult, resulting in fever, headaches, and other discomforts. This is known as sinusitis. Each sinus or cavity in the skull has an opening that allows free exchange of mucus and air. Each sinus is joined to the other by a mucous membrane lining. When there is an infection like hay fever or a disease like asthma, these sinuses and the lining become inflamed, causing air and mucus to be blocked inside or a vacuum to be created. This can cause pressure on the sinus walls, causing severe pain. Millions of dollars are spent for sinus medications and sinus research. Sinus infections can cause a lot of pain and discomfort. Sometimes, the infection may also lead to some brain infections or other chronic problems. Though there is no effective remedy for sinus infections, a lot of comfort can be gained by treating the sinus symptoms like headaches, nasal discharge, nasal blocking, runny nose, ear, neck, cheek, jaw pain, swelling of eyelids, etc. However, acute or chronic sinus infections require prolonged treatments, comprised of antibiotics or therapies like saline nasal rinses, topical, oral decongestants, antihistamines, mucolytic agents, and intranasal corticosteroids. Sinus infections can also be treated by some home remedies. A lot of relief can be obtained by inhaling steam from a vaporizer or a bowl of hot water. Applying a hot or a cold compress over the inflamed area would also provide relief. A decoction of mustard seed powder and water, instilled in the nostrils, eating jalapeno peppers, drinking juice of ripe grapes, applying a paste of cinnamon and water on the forehead, applying paste of ginger and water, milk on the forehead, applying paste of basil leaves, cloves, and dried ginger on the forehead, inhaling steam of eucalyptus oil, and drinking warm tea are all found to be effective in providing some relief. Drinking a lot of water and other fluids would also help. A great deal of rest is also required. However, it is better to consult a specialist if the infection persists.